All right, 544 now new this morning following a week of negative coverage about his past remarks on women. Larry Elder has apparently shaken up his campaign staff. According to Politico, the Republican gubernatorial candidate has hired a new campaign manager. Several of Elder's opponents have called for him to drop out of the race because of some of his past remarks. And with the recall election just three weeks away, Elder, who is the front runner of candidates trying to replace Governor Newsom, is facing another problem. As Lori Perez reports, there is now an investigation into his personal finances. I knew I'd be taking on some very powerful interests, saying some things that the left does not like people to say. Conservative radio talk show host Larry Elder seems to see the attacks on him as proof of his viability, and political experts say he's not wrong. The fact that somebody has been looking into this in detail really suggests that he is considered the front runner. But the focus of a state investigation into whether Elder properly disclosed where he makes his money, which is important because it helps show if candidates have any potential conflicts of interest, is not the stuff analysts say will likely change any minds. In fact, they say data shows scandals of any sort rarely have much of an impact on voters and certainly not on partisan voters. The same people who are excited to turn out for this election are the people who are most likely to be least critical of this income scandal. As much as we might think that these scandals matter, oftentimes they don't. This type of scandal that matters more, and the scandal would have to evoke something about that person's moral standing and their honor, and those are the scandals that research shows really have a big impact, and those tend to be about affairs, dishonesty, etc., not obscure um, legal ramifications. The state investigation comes after the LA Times reported Elder might have misreported his income and ownership of a company called Lawrence A. Elder and Associates. Then the California Democratic Party filed a complaint saying he needed to come clean about, among other things, his radio sponsorship deals, whether he's been delinquent on taxes, and if Donald Trump ever compensated him. Elder's campaign sent us a statement essentially denying the implications of anything improper, saying, Our campaign was made aware of a simple mistake in our candidate filing, and we corrected it as soon as possible. These amendments are quite common in campaign world. And some of the Republican candidates who are running in the recall election will meet for another debate this week. Elder, along with Caitlyn Jenner, have decided to decline to participate in any debates so far.